Hi guys, it's your girl Belinda back up in my kitchen getting ready to chef it up for you guys. Okay, so those of you that know yesterday I did, um, wasn't sure if today I wanted to do cook uh, some ribs, some rib mushroom soup. Um, because, you know, Thanksgiving is right around the corner and I still have lots to do with that as well. But um, since, you know, my family's asking for that soup, I'm going to do it today. So... So I figured I'd let you guys be a part of that on my YouTube channel. <laughs> okay, so I just want to break down the ingredients to you guys very quickly. Okay, um, I have my book here where I already have everything that I did. And I'm just going to go ahead and shut that. <laughs> okay, so it's about 3 o'clock-ish, okay? So as you see, here are all my ingredients. I have lots of ingredients for this rib soup um, to die for. So delicious. Uh, so I just want to give you a little heads up of here what I'm doing. All right. So I want to get to it right away, okay? Because soup is very easy to make, as we all know. It's just boiling water with a lot of meat and vegetables, ingredients, and all that other great stuff, right? But like I said, you have to make sure you prep everything um, the right way, the ingredients are great, and that you cook with love. Okay, so right here on my chalkboard, I have, um, remember all that cilantro that I bought at the market? This is the rest that I have left. And you see, it's almost um, starting to get that wicky, wicky, uh, wicky little look to it, meaning it's gonna be going bad soon, uh, but it's still actually, absolutely you can even buy this just like this at the grocery store they sell them like that as well um they still push them out at the market to be sold which means it's so good <laughs> okay so um i am doing uh a, a one big cup actually two big cups of of this cilantro okay which those of you know it's the 10x cilantro super good flavor it's the last that i have so i'm going to be using it Okay, I have the last of my celery bunch that I'm going to be chopping up really pretty all the way down to the root. That's just, all this is going to go up in that soup. Yes, this girl preserves. <laughs> um, and then I also have neck bones here. The neck bones that I have here, super delicious. Love these guys here. Um, these are, and you know I always keep everything to show you guys. This is... Uh, the Villery Brothers, that is the name brand that I get for the neck bones, okay? Just so you know. Um, so, if, like I said, if you want to stick to this dish, you have to make sure you use all the ingredients that I'm using. However, you can switch it up if you want and use another brand of neck bones. But I always go the cheap way, too, so you might want to stick with me on that. All right. And I also left the price here of this, okay? So as you see, it says fresh pork neck bones. And for about two and a half pounds, five dollars and sixty-eight cents, my price was two dollars and forty-nine cents for that pack. Okay, so just giving you a heads up, I do cook with um smartness. I make sure I get all those great deals out there, so watch out <laughs> when you see me. <laughs> okay, um, so um over here I have that. Uh, hickory smoke ham as well and this I love this because this comes with that bone right in the middle I use this a lot for my rice um, a lot for my soups so there you have it we're doing one big bowl of that and the, the, they're they're not diced up like I did in that rice this is the same hickory smoke uh, ham that I use these are actually I pulled these apart meaning I, I kind of like shredded them with my hands my fingers all into this bowl because that's how I want the texture to the meat when I drop it into my pot. Okay, these are country style ribs, y'all. These are delicious. These are good for sandwiches, for any kind of dish you make. These are great. I cooked with these in sandwiches. Love these country style ribs and sandwiches. Okay, so I have a couple pe nice chunks of that, some fatty pieces as you see. I have a half a cup of just regular or original bacon, just plain bacon. I'm going to be chopping those up in little dices. I also have a full cup of ketchup, y'all. I have a one-third of soy sauce. I have a one-fourth of that beautiful mother 
um, apple cider mother to clean all this meat out while, while cooking the meat. Like I said, I love using that apple cider because it works really good and it's really, really good for you. Um, I have a full cup of sofrito as well. So there you have it. Hope you're getting good lighting. Great. And then I have whole mushrooms. These are a little dried out because I had them in the freezer. They're still good. I preserve. Okay. Then I have four rusted potatoes that I'm going to be chopping up into here. However, I do not take the peel off. I just dice them really, really, really small into small, small dices. And I throw them in, um, in that pot because they make a great starch to that soup. Okay. Moving along. I have... A one sauce I do two tablespoons of that I have that pickle goya hot peppers I do two pieces of that however we're also adding in a holy smokes now being that I'm using two different peppers I'm using the goya peppers the holy smoke as you know it's it's hot <laughs> so I only use a real teeny pinch of that okay just a little pinch that's it and I like my meat to get that spunk in it that hot flavor in it because it also again cleans your meat okay and so moving along okay so we have everything and these are all my ingredients y'all for for all everything that i have up here is going into this lovely pot the only thing that i have in here in my lovely pot is just a beautiful little bit of sofrito that i added okay which i just watered down from the bottom of the of the can of the sofrito okay so that's all that is it's just really watered down okay but the real stuff is right there which i'm gonna add in in a little bit okay guys so um i also wanted to give you guys a heads up tomorrow i plan on doing uh buttering up my butterball turkey that my honey brought from work up to that a really big turkey um I, like i said i'm doing something different this year so watch out with my creative ideas in this head um anyway um so yes i'm doing something different however um the turkey i'm going to uh season that baby up with you guys tomorrow so you're gonna see me wrap it up season it up you're gonna see all the ingredients that i'm putting into that lovely butterball turkey so please stay tuned for that tomorrow um i'm gonna say late evening for that because i have a lot of running around to do um, so definitely I'll be up in my kitchen, um, buttering up that butter bowl so that way you guys can check it out and see how I do my stuff. Um, I do use a lot of McCormick stuff, but again, this girl used her Goya flavors too. So <laughs> you'll be surprised. Yes, I use all my Goya flavors in all my dishes and that's just the Latin in me, I guess. <laughs> So stay tuned for that tomorrow. I'll keep you guys posted, but I'm going to get to this so I can um, show you the layout of this and the beautiful yum and deliciousness. So please don't miss it. I love you guys so much. And again, you don't know how much I love to cook in my kitchen. So I'm so glad to share this video with you again with all my food and my dishes. So please check me out in a little bit. Mwah.